Woo! Okay, quick fire round, let's go. <laughs> right into the quick fire round, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, <clears throat> quick fire round. Who directed the movie <laughs> Reservoir Dogs? Quentin Tarantino. That was the tie. Damn. What company produces the Xbox? Microsoft. Microsoft. What is the tallest mammal on Earth? African uh, elephant. Gi giraffe. giraffe. Yeah, giraffe. giraffe. <laughs> Who is the creator of the animated series The Simpsons? Wait, I know this. I know this. Seth MacFarlane. No, it's um, Groaning. Matt Groaning. Yes. Yeah, I was like... Uh, in the TV series Friends, what is the name of Ross and Monica's mother? Eileen. Uh, Diane. Trisha. All, all of the Friends fans out there are so disappointed in you. What is it? Judy mm -hmm. Geller. No. Judy. What is the currency of Japan? Yes. What is the largest organ? What is the largest skin. organ a part of the human body? Yes. Yes, skin. What is the chemical symbol for potassium? X. No, K. Yeah. Okay. I was like. <laughs> what is the national flower of the United States? Uh, rose. A tulip. Rose. Oh. I didn't oh, know that either. I didn't know that. Yeah, right? Good yeah. guess. I was about Thank to say you. the bird of paradise or whatever. I like, yeah. We, I was like, we should know this, but I, I don't. Yeah. No clue. Um, and the final one. What is the term for the raised edge around a perimeter of a swimming pool? Coping. Yes. I was like, Rachel should know this. Her husband probably talked about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I just got new coping. So yeah. I, was like, <laughs> I was like, I should know this. Yeah. I just had to think. So Rachel got six. Roxanne got two. So Rachel has three points. Roxanne has one point. Okay, wait, hold on. You have three, Rach? Yeah. You get, you get ready? Yeah. I, well, okay. You're back and here with us. We're back. And because of stupid internet connection i am back in the room except this time they're to the right of me which makes this even weirder it's so it's so weird well anyways we're back at it again and we're gonna do the best we can Braxan, what lifeline do you want rachel to lose we are taking away phone a friend of course sorry jack sorry jack round one general knowledge General knowledge. Roxanne. Yes. What annual event that had its 150th edition on Saturday, May 4th, takes place each year at Churchill Downs? Oh, I'm going to say um, the Kentucky Derby. You better know that. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> you should see his fit right now, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, <laughs> keep, the behind the keep the illusion right alive. <laughs> Ew, stop it. Rachel, who is Drake having beef with in the hip-hop world right now? Oh, Kendrick Lamar. So. Final answer. But oh. also, have you guys been caught up on that? Like, is Drake a pedophile or no? I don't know. I haven't really... I haven't caught up. I haven't I just caught, so there's I six diss tracks track. to listen to. Yeah, so Drake said that Kendrick Lamar beats his wife, and Kendrick Lamar said that Drake's a pedophile. Round two. <sighs> Rachel's stomach. Yeah, literally. Round two. Music. Roxanne, officially released on May 10th, what song is Post Malone and Morgan Wallen collaborating on? Oh, shoot. It... R? It's, it's R. R. R is for song. two. R? R is a... But it's... the song Need is help, singular. But... What song are Post Malone and... Oh, I guess, yeah. What song are Post Malone? Yeah, I was right. Okay, you're right. The plural is R. Need some help with that? Need some help with that. I'm going to say as my final answer. I can't tell this. She said final screen. answer. No, I heard her. I'm just I'm just drawing it out as I always do. Yeah. Come on. Have you never watched our podcast, Rachel? Um, that's incorrect. Mm. I had some help. I had some help. Mm. I know, so I know. I was like, I need some help. help. You were so close. Da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah. Finish the Lionel Richie lyric. Oh, no. <laughs> that's why I'm easy. Easy like blank. Sunday morning. That's why I'm easy. Easy like Sunday morning. Is that right? Or is that like a commercial? And... <laughs> Who are you like, asking? I don't know. I'm just I saying, can't like, tell you. You know, like, uh, I almost said Wells Fargo. It's not Wells Fargo. It's Folgers? Folgers. Yeah, we know that, but stop, that's like, it's like, stop it, talking. It's away. definitely My from that. My favorite coffee brand is Fargo. I'm going to say Sunday morning final answer. Is that enough? Fi final answer. That's right, man. Correct. Woo! Yeah, you were right. I really read like I was like, is this made up? For every the time you give it's a different lyric. Yeah. Every time you give Rachel a lyric question, she has to sing it. I can't help it. Ow. Enjoy my voice. I wish I was a singer. Yeah, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> Round three, movies. Roxanne, 
What 2007 movie starring Hugh Grant and Drew Barry Barrymore has this description? A washed up 80s pop star gets a chance at a comeback when reigning pop diva Cora Corman invites him to write a record, write and record a duet with her. This is the most random, and I mean random <laughs> movie that you Wait, could have. For real though. It's like not actually, it is random. No, I it really is. did a movie generator, like random generator, and just clicked until I was like, oh, that's a good movie. <laughs> I've seen it. I have no clue what it's called. I was like, I wonder if Kelsey would know. Mm. Oh, she might. Let me do this. You can. Hello? You. We, I need, you're my lifeline. Basically, what 2007 movie has Hugh Grant and Drew Barrymore, and he's a pop star, and they're writing a song together? I didn't even know they started a movie together. No way. Okay, this is definitely a Kelsey Dang. movie, too. Yeah, Dang. I thought you definitely would have seen it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Written in the stars. Let it, honestly, it's as good. It's not it, but we're going to go with Written in the Stars. Final answer. <laughs> What is she doing? Skydiving? She's, she's driving. <laughs> Some people have to go to work, Rachel. Uh, no, that's incorrect. What's the answer? The answer is music and lyrics. Music and lyrics! Oh my. I've never heard of it. Oh, music and lyrics, yeah. yeah. See, it's I a told, great movie. Yeah, totally know that. Never seen it. Never even heard of it. What do Cadmus and Peta attempt to poison themselves with in The Hunger Games? Why did you read it so weird? Oh, I know this. Nightlock. Final answer. Yeah, that's right. Why did I read it so weird? Because it... The where the sentence went is not where my brain wanted it to go, <laughs> and I've never read any of these questions before, so. Um, you know we just watched them all. That's why I did it. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> all right, next time I will not <laughs> randomly generate movies. <laughs> Round four. Television. Roxanne, Misty and Brock accompanied who on his quest to catch them all in an animated series in the animated series Pokemon. Wait, what? Ash. Because I only know Ash. I think that's fine. Okay, yeah, that, 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 that's correct. <laughs> it's Ash Ketchum. That's correct. Nice. Ash Ketchum. Ash Ketchum. Because <laughs> you gotta catch them all. all. Rachel. Luke. Gerald, Grandpa Phil, and Harold are characters from which Nickelodeon TV series? She spelled it Nickelodeon. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Are you serious? You really don't know this? Sorry, I'm not leading, but like, really? I think I will use a hint. Oh, lifeline. Lifeline. Um, in, in the show, there was a female character absolutely obsessed with the main character. And it was like... Love. She was... Wait a minute. Did this say it's animated? Yeah. Is it Johnny Bravo? Johnny Bravo, final answer. No. Like Johnny Bravo was, on, was obsessed was on, with every female. That was on Cartoon oh, that was Network. Like, <laughs> that was Cartoon Network. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. We were just it's, talking it's about hey it. It's Hey Arnold. See, I, 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 I hated Hey Arnold. If I would have really? been Helga, though, would you have known? Yeah. See, that's why I didn't do no, Arnold I didn't and it, Helga. Yeah. Like Grandpa Phil, Gerald, and Harold. But that's why I was giving you the hint. Like, No, I know, but I, I hated that show so much. I wouldn't have really? known any of it. was such a fun show. Round five. Food, snacks, and drink. I don't my fingers. Round five. Food, snacks, and drink. Roxanne, what snacks? What snack is a Mexican brand of snack? That's really how you're going to write this question? What snack is a Mexican brand of snack? What snack is a Mexican brand of snack that most famously comes in a purple bag with the chili lime fuego flavor being the most notorious? Wow, she really was hungover because it's Takis. <laughs> Final you answer. Give, you give the easiest hint for it. Typically only known by his title and last name. What famous cereal mascot technically has Horatio Magellan as his first and middle names? Yes. It's, it's like a hundred percent Captain Crunch. But like, but is that what we're looking for? Yes. Okay, so Captain Crunch final answer. No. It's not. No. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's right. Round six. Dealers. Ch 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 Funnier. We're not very funny right now. Ch -ch 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 um, we have a lot of my thigh talk. Yeah, that we do. That's true. Because yeah, I'm a toad. Look how skinny they are, though. I'm a toad. Should we compare? Should we compare real quick? No. Roxanne. Yeah. How tall? Can you do what Roxanne normally does when it's a hard name and like, like? But we've said this guy's name like a hundred times. Have we? Because how do you pronounce his last name? 
Imparelli or something? I- Imparelli? All right. How tall is Michael Imparelli of Sopranos and White Lotus? Imparelli. Oh, five, seven, I think. I'm going to go five, seven. Final answer. Nope. Five, eight. By the way, I thought he was going to be much shorter. Yeah. I thought he was shorter, too. I, I was thinking like five, Adriana, six. Adriana, the girl that plays Adriana in the show, she's five, five. And he's, yeah, like barely taller than her. But he, spoiler alert, she just got killed. Rachel, what is the least populated U.S. Uh, state? The least populated U.S. state? Montana, Alaska, Wyoming. It's definitely one of those. And I feel like we've looked this up before. Um, I think that I'm going to go with Alaska, final answer. No. Damn it. What you, is it? You lived here. Oh, it's Wyoming. Yep. It's Wyoming. That makes sense. There's no one in f-ing Wyoming. So why didn't you guess Wyoming? Because I feel like there'd be less people in Alaska. You've yeah. never been to Alaska. Round seven, deconstructed. Or as Rachel put it, round seven, deconstruction. <laughs> <laughs> Your three-point clue, Roxanne. Are you ready? Born in April 1982, this American singer is from Dalston, Pennsylvania. Doylestown. Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Okay, um, I'll take my two point. Your two-point clue. He has both a solo career and a career in several bands. His first one was called Audience of One. Audience of One? Not two. Not two. He's 42. April, I'm 42. Mm. I mean, there's no way I can win this anyways. Three. Yeah. Yeah, no. You already have seven and I have four. Wait, and you won last week? Uh-huh. This is a weird, like, this, why? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Just, just get your one point clue. Hey, give me my one point. Later. I know. Can I ask you a question? Is this the original lead singer or is this the newer one? Original. Oh, okay. Uh, he's the lead singer or was the lead singer? It's on his Wikipedia. Of Seosin and Circus oh, Survive. Green. Anthony oh. Green. Anthony Green. We love Anthony this is a This is a fun fact. In 2014... 14? 2013. 2013. 2013. Yeah. Um, I went to an Anthony Green concert at on, at the Roxy Theater. No, El Rey. At the oh, El Rey. El Rey on Valentine's Day with her boyfriend. And then I also was there. Yeah. And so when we met years later and we're looking through photos, we're like, wait a minute. We were, we're both, both there. <laughs> You're not alone. There is more to Do this, this I know. <clears throat> Rachel, your three point clue. Chris and Tom opened this restaurant for the first time in Huntington Beach, California in 2003. Chris and Tom. I don't know. Please give me the two-point clue. They call their menu Elevated Comfort Food. Cracker Barrel? No, that's on. That wasn't California. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Elevated Comfort Food. Is this one Lazy Dog? I think it could be Lazy Dog. Lazy Dog is comfort food. I mean, I won the matter what. Yeah. I'm gonna f-ing go for it. Lazy Dog, final answer. Yeah. You're yes! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, five. Uh, what if I uh, messed up and I was like, actually? <laughs> I, <laughs> actually, you lose, bitch. Oh, I, love I have all the power. Uh, your pup can enjoy a meal here as well. Oh! Not mm. my pup. Yeah, I was just saying, not my dog. <laughs> we but. should get Novi's. Novi! Come here! You want to be on the show? We never show Novi's on the podcast. She ain't coming. We should begin the our finale oh. with Nova. Yeah. Ooh, and we have a special episode for the finale. Yeah, next yes. week it's actually we're gonna break the format for our finale of, of season one, and it's gonna be me and our friend Kelsey Varela battling it out. Battling in these it chairs. out. Yep. Yeah. And then our hosts are gonna be Rach and Rox, and I really am not looking forward to it. So excited! Woo! I'm not. Like and subscribe. Comment all your comments and share with your friends and family and coworkers. And we're on all your favorite podcast platforms. We're on YouTube that Rachel spends hours editing. So long. So long. Check out the thumbnails. Give us a rating. And also stay smart, not broke. <laughs>